Welcome to Today in Nerd History for April 18th. The Star Trek The Next Generation episode, Cost of Living, aired April 18, 1992. In this episode, as undetectable parasites devour the ship, Deanna's mother arrives, taking young Alexander under her wing en route to meeting a man she's blindly agreed to marry. The Star Trek Deep Space Nine episode, Vortex, aired April 18, 1993. In this episode, Odo is reluctantly intrigued, when a criminal from the Gamma Quadrant, drops hints about the location of a colony of shapeshifters. The Star Trek Voyager episode, Author Author, aired April 18, 2001. In this episode, during their now regular communications with Earth and Starfleet, the Doctor sends a whole novel, which is too closely based on his adventures on Voyager, causing hurt feelings among his crew. The Star Trek Discovery episode, Such Sweet Sorrow, Part 2, was released April 18, 2019. In this episode, the Discovery battles against Control, in a fight not only for their lives, but for the future, with a little help from some unexpected friends. Spock and Burnham, discern vital new connections between the Red Signals, while Burnham faces one of life's harshest truths. The right decisions are often the hardest to make. Happy birthday David Tennant, born April 18, 1971. David Tennant, born David John MacDonald, is a Scottish actor, best known for his roles as the 10th incarnation of the Doctor in Doctor Who from 2005 to 2010, Giacomo Casanova in Casanova, the title Prince, in the Royal Shakespeare Company's 2009 adaptation of Hamlet, Barty Crouch, Jr., in Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, D.I., Alec Hardy, in Broadchurch, Kilgrave, in the Netflix superhero series, Jessica Jones, and as himself in Staged. He did the voice of Scrooge McDuck in DuckTales in 2017, and, in Good Omens, he plays Crowley. Happy Birthday Rick Moranis, born April 18, 1953. Frederick Allen, Rick, Moranis, is a Canadian actor and a two-time Grammy-nominated musician. He came to prominence around 1980 in the sketch comedy show Second City Television and later appeared in several Hollywood movies, including, Strange Brew, Ghostbusters, Spaceballs, Little Shop of Horrors, Honey I Shrunk the Kids and its sequels, Little Giants, Parenthood, The Flintstones, and My Blue Heaven. Happy birthday David Hewlett, born April 18, 1968. David Ian Hewlett, is an English-Canadian actor, writer, director, and voice actor, best known for his role as Dr. Rodney McKay on the TV shows Stargate SG-1, Stargate Atlantis and Stargate Universe. He first gained fame for his role as Grant Jansky, in the 1996 Canadian TV series, Traitors, and a year later, appeared as David Wirth in the 1997 Canadian psychological horror movie, Cube. He later played bad-tempered airplane pilot, Douglas Hunsicker, in the 2011 movie, Rise of the Planet of the Apes. In addition, he is also known for his role in the 1988 horror movie, Pin, and the 1991 science fiction movie, Scanners 2 The New Order. Happy Birthday Conan O'Brien, born April 18, 1963. Conan Christopher O'Brien, is an American TV host, comedian, writer, and producer. He is best known for hosting several late-night talk shows, and since 2010, he has hosted, Conan on the cable channel TBS. After writing for several comedy shows in Los Angeles, he joined the writing staff of Saturday Night Live. He was a writer and producer for The Simpsons for two seasons until he was commissioned by NBC to take over David Letterman's position as host of Late Night in 1993. A virtual unknown to the public, O'Brien's initial late-night tenure received unfavorable reviews and remained on a multi-week renewal cycle during its early years. The show generally improved over time and was highly regarded by the time of his departure in 2009. Afterwards, he relocated from New York to Los Angeles to host his own incarnation of The Tonight Show for seven months until network politics prompted a host change in 2010. Happy birthday Eric Roberts, born April 18, 1956. Eric Anthony Roberts, is an American actor. His career began with a leading role in King of the Gypsies in 1978, for which he received his first Golden Globe Award nomination. He was again recognized by the Golden Globes for his interpretation of Paul Snyder in Bob Fosse's Star 80 in 1983. His performance in Runaway Train in 1985, 
as prison escapee Buck McGee earned him a nomination for a third Golden Globe and a nomination for an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor. He is the older brother of actress Julia Roberts. In a career spanning over 40 years, he has amassed more than 600 credits, including Raggedy Man, The Pope of Greenwich Village, The Specialist, Cecil B. Demented, National Security, A Guide to Recognizing Your Saints, The Dark Knight, The Expendables, Inherent Vice, The Institute, and Head Full of Honey. His equally varied television work includes three seasons with the sitcom, Less Than Perfect, as well as recurring roles on the NBC drama, Heroes, and the CBS soap opera, The Young and the Restless, as well as, Saved by the Light, the legal drama, Suits, Foxes, The Finder, and the only non-UK actor to play, The Master, in the 1996 Doctor Who television movie. Happy birthday Jeff Dunham, born April 18, 1962. Jeffrey Dunham is an American ventriloquist, stand-up comedian and actor who has also appeared on numerous television shows, including Late Show with David Letterman, Comedy Central Presents, The Tonight Show and Sonny with a Chance. He has six specials that run on Comedy Central. Arguing with Myself, Spark of Insanity, Jeff Dunham's very special Christmas special, Controlled Chaos, Minding the Monsters, and All Over the Map. Dunham also starred in The Jeff Dunham Show, a series on the network in 2009. He achieved the Guinness Book of World Records record for most tickets sold for a stand-up comedy tour for his Spark of Insanity tour, performing in 386 venues worldwide. Remembering William Bramley, born April 18, 1928 and passed away on October 27, 1985. He played the lead policeman in the Star Trek episode, Bread and Circuses. He made his movie debut in the Academy Award-winning 1961 musical West Side Story. Some movie credits include, Gunpoint, I Love You Alice B. Toklas, Madigan, Getting Straight, Suppose They Gave a War and Nobody Came, Doctor's Wives, Bless the Beasts and Children, Hang Up, Revenge of the Cheerleaders, and The Wild Life. He appeared in the 1964 made-for-TV movie, Ready for the People. In 1969, he appeared in the TV movie, Trial Run. He was also in the TV movies, Michael O'Hara IV, The Last Day, and Tough Girl. He frequently appeared in TV episodes helmed by, Bread and Circuses, director Ralph Senensky, which include series such as, Breaking Point, Craft Suspense Theater and the FBI. He also made guest appearances on such TV series as Gunsmoke, Bonanza, Lost in Space, The Virginian, Bewitched, I Dream of Jeannie, Emergency, McLeod, Barnaby Jones, and The Outer Limits as Baldy Baldwin in the episode, The Premonition. His final TV appearance was in an episode of Saint Elsewhere. Happy Birthday, Clive Reville, born April 18, 1930. Clive Selsby Reville played Sir Guy of Gisborne in the Star Trek The Next Generation episode Cupid. He has appeared in both Star Trek and Star Wars, having supplied the voice of Emperor Palpatine in Star Wars Episode V, The Empire Strikes Back. However, in the 2004 DVD release, his performance as the Emperor was removed, and replaced with Ian McDermott, who played the Emperor in the four later movies. In Babylon 5, he played Trachis in the episode, Born to the Purple. He guest starred in many TV series, such as, Columbo, Heart to Heart, Dynasty, Magnum P.I., The Love Boat, Remington Steel, Murder She Wrote, The Feather and Father Gang, Newhart, MacGyver, Dear John, The Fall Guy, and Maud. He starred as the Wizard Vector in the short-lived series Wizards and Warriors. Happy Birthday Robert Hooks, born April 18, 1937. He played Fleet Admiral Harry Morrow in the Star Trek III The Search for Spock. He was originally set to reprise his role in Star Trek IV, The Voyage Home, but became unavailable and was replaced by Brock Peters as Admiral Cartwright. Hooks was on the TV series NYPD, which lasted from 1967 through 1969. In 1999, he had a role on the HBO series The Hoop Life. He starred in a string of made-for-TV movies throughout the 1970s, 80s, and 90s. These include, Carter's Army, Two for the Money, To Kill a Cop, 
a woman called Moses, Madam X, words by heart, appearances, and abandoned and deceived. He was in the movie, Trouble Man, the 1979 TV miniseries, Backstairs at the White House, and the 1981 made-for-TV movie The Sophisticated Gents. And in 1982, he was in the TV movie Sister Sister. He appeared in several movies directed by his son, Kevin, including 1992's Passenger 57 and the 1996 Fled. His other motion picture credits include Airport 77 and Posse. Happy birthday Camille Caudery, born April 18, 1965. She is an English actress who played Jackie Tyler in Doctor Who. She was also in Nuns on the Run and King Ralph. Happy birthday Chloe Bennett, born April 18, 1992. She is an American actress and singer who plays Sky slash Daisy Johnson on the TV series Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and also voices in the animated Marvel Rising franchise. Happy birthday Lisa Lo Cicero, born April 18, 1970. Lisa Lo Cicero played Ensign Myrel Paris, the daughter of Tom Paris and Bolana Torres, in the final Star Trek Voyager episode, Endgame. In addition, she also performed voice roles in the video game Star Trek Armada 2, Star Trek Bridge Commander, and Star Trek Elite Force 2. And she reprises her role of Myrel Paris in Star Trek Online in the game's 10th season. She plays Olivia Falconari on the ABC daytime soap opera General Hospital and guest starred in the Chuck episode Chuck vs. the Wedding Planner. Happy birthday Mike Gomez, born April 18, 1951. He played two different Ferengi in two episodes of Star Trek The Next Generation. He is also known for his work on Heartbreak Ridge, The Big Lebowski and Greenland. Well, that's it for today, folks. I appreciate you listening, and uh, if you enjoyed the show, please feel free to tell your friends about uh, little old me here. Have a wonderful day.